o ringa le lue fatas e mi fai ai on tato to e foi le a onga marisa onga le mu a e ala mai le taia o ani o falo ngona ai te li tuo le tau fai le manuia no foi le fali manuia le lei tato o a o ne inga lo lo u fi fonga e u fi u fi ai o fonga a e mai se lo u su mo lo u tu se tu lo o le a onga o lo u fi fonga e pui pui ai tato o mai le fa sa la la wina o ne siama Ai mai se ai le pui pui ngā ora o te lenga o tangata, o lo se o se o mia ai tātou. Le ai ai se tangata mo tua na te whaa mau tino aina, le so longa manu ui o tangata uma, pe a e tau no watu i le a onga. E ui o tātou fia fia o mwhai o tātou toe mā futa whātasi, ai le lei pe a lava le tau sisi i le wha whaa tūlanga ina, o oe mara i se tangata, le ia whai ti ti a hai le wha sa la la wina o ni si ama. Tā uole whuwhuruma mā o rima ao e iai i whale a onga, e peiona e iai i tō whale. A ole i tā mawha, pōre mā e a, a ole i tā alo, pō ua uma. Pōre a ngā i atu mara tō e whoi mai mari whale le tā ua, te tau lava o na whaama mā ua au, e ala lea i whuwhuruina o rima, pōre whao ngā i nga ole vaila au whuwhuruima. Pai te tau o na tātou nofu e o tātou wāenga, o whao ngā o tātou mea o ngā tōtino, Na i lole fi faa so ai, o lapata inga nei, e tāo fi o fi ai le faa salalau wina o le si ama. E faa malo si ele fai o lau uwhi fufonga, wanga na ai taimi o e tau mawha, tau sami, bo o tō whanga. O le awe ese o lau uwhi fufonga, e te tau na e tō awhile mu ai, o lau uwhi so so ani lea, i na ia fai ti ti a ai le faa salalau wina o le si ama. E le ai se fe tō faa inga o ni mea tau mawha, Fai ti ti a ai le fa sa la la wina o le si ama. Ma e a ona e tau mawha. Tui lo uwhi fufonga. Na e a ngai a tu loa e fa mma au a au. Bo se fso swani i le le i loa o lo uwhi fufonga. Bo le le man ui o le fa asu longa o le aso a onga. Fa a fso ta i loa se tangata mtua. E maua mai ai se fso swani. Tu ai ona o mai le taimi i tato te toe maa futa fatasi ai. Mana tua. O le ngaru lu e fatasi. Tātou te toe whoi ai i rea onga, Marisa onga le mu. Thank you so much, Kalavo. We're going to add in the chat the English translation of that video for our non-Samoan speakers. Next, we're going to ask um, both to share our agenda for the day. We've got a lot. Land. While he does that, if you haven't already, today you're going to need your maker kit from our PyTest friends. If you did not, if you were not able to get one beforehand, that's okay. You can still contact us so we can coordinate a way for you to pick up your maker kit or, or get that over to you. You're also going to need your ukulele for the song of the week. And I believe that's all. Yeah. That's what we're going to be using today. Oh, of course, your binder. Your family binder. Your Ia Lava Lava. As well as your Nunana Samoa calendar. And your Polynesian coloring book. Towards the end. This week, we are excited to go over a few of our items. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have our special a welcome and introduction. Uh, so we already kind of went over the supplies that are needed for this week. Then we will be welcoming back our Lava Lava model, Ms. Alicia, who will share, share with us how to see Lulo Ia Lava Lava or how to tie your ear. Next we'll be going over the special with Te Kua, or the song of the week this week, is E Kami Le Fati. Followed by the legend of the week, we'll be uh, sharing the story of creation. And then after that, we're going to be watching or going over the meat of our workshop, which is building connections, voyaging through STEM. Our friends at PyTest, along with the help of Dr. Vita Palaisa and someone navigator, Captain Jalofani, will help us to connect STEM concepts to traditional Samoan canoe making and utilize the engineering process to create their own vessel, your own vessel, that will be able to float on water. Um, a simple reminder this week 
is if you do not have time to finish your va'a or your panu during the time of our um, instructional lesson today, you can always finish up later on and share some photos with us on your pocket. We would love to see that. Next, we're going to take a look at our virtual, our online, sorry, our online um, tablet site and see if we have some new art to display. We do have a couple of new entries. Uh, Ms. Nenala Saki, can we click on that one? She submitted a amazing coloring sheet for the day. Look at that. That's awesome. That was a color, that's a coloring sheet that she completed in the following coloring book. And then next, we also have an addition from Cyrus. Yes, from Cyrus Taki. Can we pull that up? Ooh, we love all of the different colors that you utilize. And again, friends, we want to ask that if you complete any of your artwork, do that uh, coloring sheet in your Polynesian coloring book or illustration of the legend. We want to invite you to add it, add your, take a photo of your artwork and add it to our virtual gallery, right? Because we love to see your artwork. We love to see the amazing things that all of us are able to create. Next up, we're going to welcome Ms. Alicia back to share how to see the ear level Hi guys, I'm Alicia and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to tie this ear. Um, you guys got like a colorful ear that was in you guys' bag for the first drop off. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to put it on. So I'm gonna show you guys two different types of ways. So the first way that I'm gonna show you guys is a, a simple tie. So you wanna take the two corners of your ear and then you wanna put it to one side of your body, whichever you're comfortable with. And then you wanna take the two and you want to tie it to a knot like that. And then you just tighten it to your liking. And then, yeah. There you go. That's the first way. Great job, Sunny. Okay, and then the second way that I'm gonna show you guys how to do it is like a wrapping thing, like a wrap. Yeah. Okay, so you wanna take either the right side or you wanna hold the two corners, like the first way, and you're either gonna take the right, the right corner or the left corner and you're just gonna bring that side in and then you just wanna take the other corner that you didn't bring in, and you just want to take it and tuck it into your side. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, if you guys have any other questions about how to tie it, just go ahead and drop it in the chat. And then my mom will help you guys with that, aka Epi. Thank you. Again, if you have any questions during the duration of our Family Most More workshop, feel free to add them in the chat because we have our lovely monitors on Facebook. We have Ms. Aliyah, and on Zoom, we have our amazing Televo who is monitoring the chat. So now we want to welcome our special Vayaso with Ms. Sekua. Hello, everyone. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sekua. I am the um, Masonger for every workshop, and um, this week we're gonna be singing a song of coffee. So you're gonna need your here to put that out if you want to. And our chords are gonna be E7, and the last note is X. So one, two, three. Now, um, here I'll go over that one more time. So our chords are and then G7, one, two, three, and do three. And then I'll last one is that one, two. Okay. Um, if you want to sing along with me, go ahead and pull up your binder and hit to the score for our song, our song, and pop. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
our slides for this week's legend, which is the story of creation. All right. Please uh, give us a thumbs up or let us know in the chat if you're having a hard time with the audio. If you need to turn it up a bit, let us know, please. Story of creation. In the beginning, there were only the heavens and the waters covering the earth. The god, Sangaloa, looked down from his place in the sky and considered creating a place on the earth where he could stand. So he made a resting place by creating the rock called Manua Tele, the greater Manua. Sangaloa was pleased with his work and said, it would be well to have still another resting place. He divided the rock, Madu Atele, so he could have other places in the sea that would serve as stepping stones. From these pieces of rock, he created Savai, Upolu, Tonga, Fiji, and the other islands that lie scattered about the wide ocean. When Tangaloa had finished fashioning all of these islands, he returned to Samoa. He measured the distance between the islands of Savai and Manua and found it to be too great. So he placed the rock halfway between and he designated it as a place of response, of repose for the chief. He called this last island Tutuila. Then Samaloa created man, Fasu, and woman, Ele, Ele out of the lava. He created all the elements of the earth, land, water, ocean, sun, moon, the expanse, and the sky. Thus, Samoa is known as the sacred center. Our upupo for the Vayaso, we have in our word game this week, Fatu, which means heart, Ele Ele, which means earth, La Lolangi, which means land. Vai, which means water. Sami, which means ocean. La, which means sun. Masina, which means moon. And Mamao, which means expand. All right. 
That was our legend of the week. We want to welcome all of our participants to illustrate that legend and share with us your artwork on the virtual gallery, which is our Padlet link. For those of you who are wondering how you can follow along if you do not have a Fangongo Samoa binder, you can do so by visiting our link, which is www.tinyurl.com forward slash Fangongo packet. There you can have your virtual binder so you can follow along each week. Now we are so excited to welcome our friends from Chef, who provided these wonderful kits, these maker kits for our activity this week, and who also will be sharing with us our meat of the workshop for Fangongo Samoa. Hi, my name is Cecilia. And, and my name is Lucia, and we're with, with PyFest. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about how our ancestors were amazing engineers. What are engineers? Engineers are people who design and build things to solve problems. Oh, that's cool. Long ago, before people started making modern canoes, ships, etc., with fiberglass, steel, and metal, our ancestors made canoes out of mater natural materials they had around them. Hmm. What kind of natural materials did they use? Hmm, that's a great question, Cece. Who should we ask? I got an idea. Let's ask our friends who actually voyaged on a canoe. Oh yeah, Dr. Polita and Captain Fail Lofani. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are at. Welcome. Thank you so much, PyFest. Thank you so much, Samwen Solutions. Uh, for giving you this opportunity to share in the knowledge of our cultures and of our people um, from Samoa. I'm Dr. Polita, and I have my very good friend here, uh, Samoan navigator, uh, Fiola Fani Brun. Hi, Fani, how are you? Salofa, tell everyone. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Good to see you, and I currently... Uh, I'm in Washington State in the city of Lacey, which is just about uh, 20 minutes south of the city of Tacoma. And finally, where are you at? I'm actually in Denmark. I'm in a little small uh, municipality called Baile. It's uh, right next to the, ocean, the North Sea, so it's pretty freezing here. <laughs> nice. You and I share you know, some common stories about being on voyaging canoes. And I know that your work with the, the Ngaolofa Voyaging Society um, in Samoa, and I've also had the opportunity to voyage with you, you know, when Pacific Voyages visited San Francisco Bay Area, and we voyaged down together from San Francisco all the way down to San Diego. Um, so I met many of your fabulous crewmates, and I myself became inducted, you know, on an emergency basis uh, <laughs> as a crew member. And then but one of most, my most fondest memories of voyaging with you was with the time that I saw you in 2017 in Samoa. Uh, we had voyaged from um, the island of Upolu to Manono, uh, which is, which under my impression, it was a very, very historic voyage to the village of Faliu. Have you seen Moana? Yeah. Picture that. Huh? Can you tell us how you say canoe in Samoan? Um, I know that the word, the term Samoan, uh, used the term that's used in Samoan, excuse me, uh, for the word canoe is va'a. So my understanding is that the word va'a itself are two words combined. Uh, va'a meaning uh, relational space or space as uh, uh, spatial relations or space in between and uh, um, uh, refers to something that's rocky so when va and a are combined um, it refers to not only canoe but the vessel that is able to go on the space that is rocky which is a rocky ocean hi friends can you guys tell me how our ancestors built the most amazing canoes 
<laughs> um, there's considerably a lot of science, technology behind the mechanics, ergodynamics, the hydrodynamics and the body of knowledge associated with the canoe construction itself. Um, transferring a wind energy into motive energy through the hulls, the functionality of an outrigger, the steering paddle, balancing, um, and, and the sails. That's the um, aerodynamics and in, intent itself. But in all saying that, um, this is what I say a lot to my crew. You have to forget about all that um, because that's literally you're starting a story in the middle of a story. Um, you need to start at the start of a story. Um, and with when the concept of a of, of of construction engineering of a canoe is 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 something where you don't think about now. So you start at the beginning of the story, and the beginning of the story in our in our context is usually um, a voyage. The concept of the thought when you think of the natural voyage of of going for that first voyage as a community, then yes, that's the start. Of the story. So the story starts off with arranging the concept of putting together a voyage. It starts from bringing your community together and starting off a voyage. I know I keep on repeating this, but at the same time, it needs to be underlined in that fact. Um, that you're not the only one with this concept. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a group effort. Let's just say that. Yeah, no, um, and I, I appreciate that, Fani. So really what you're underscoring here is that canoes don't get built without a visionary plan about mm. where a voyage is going to go, who's going to participate in the voyage, what supplies or what things are needed in order to have a successful voyage. And then most importantly, right, the materials, yeah. the materials mm. that are needed to build the canoe. What natural materials were canoes made of? The materials that were used in that um, in that context it would be uh, the trees, the hardcore um, hardwood trees. Sorry, something like aquila. I'm not so sure with um, the, the technical bits of if I'm too close to go into that. Um, if you were to use, we're using the context of a sail. Sail nowadays is used with the um, the materials are 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 plastic, literally. Um, uh, whereas back then it's natural fibers. You have the pandanan leaves, which were woven. Those sails were used for light, easy going winds. Then, if you have hard, stormy weather where you have no control, you change your your sails to um, a sail which is made out of afa. Afa is the sinnet um, of a coconut, coconut husk. A coconut husk, exactly. Right. What's interesting is that your background and the coconut tree behind me are interesting because they're those trees are also used uh to weave uh you know to weave something together so it's amazing that those that material is also used uh not only you know to sit on the floor with but it also used as cells and so uh so it's a perfect example of not only how sustainable and how resourceful Samoans were in terms of using their cultural materials um, but it also tells you uh, sort of the fascinating uh, ways that they've had their own sort of measuring systems and ways to test the durability and the strength of these cells. What type of wood is used in order to uh, make sure that a canoe um, can survive not only, you know, the rocky space of an ocean, uh, the rocky voyages of these canoes, but you know, how do we make sure that things like salt doesn't erode, uh, that weaken um, the canoe? And how do Samoans know which, how do they know which uh, type of wood to use for certain voyages? Uh, unfortunately, there's not much uh, understanding behind the uh, what types that they used back then. Um, although the understanding is that they used what wood was available. So there are quite a lot of um, sealant tars uh, with different types of saps that were used as well. So that was also into the biology bit of, of, our, of our people understanding what to use. 
in, 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 in conforming onto, onto the vessel. Making it waterproof, let's just say that. Um, making sure your bag is waterproof, your, your vessel that you're going on is waterproof. Instead of nails, we used latching, we used... And with this, it's more the joinings of hard things to, of these the, the different types of women was literally how there was flexibility, there was durability mm. to surf those waves, to go under, to compile, to, to go with nature, not in actual um, um, fighting against something. What were canoes used for? We're talking about um, canoes that were built in different trials of time different um, states of time when uh, immigration was a big thing back then uh, 5,000, 8,000 years ago to just going to visit uh, the plantation in the other island which you needed a smaller canoe. You have canoes that were built that would have 200 people strong on them. Um, these are as our um, chants, uh, our, our literature has told us, our literature is not written as we see now or in a box that you're looking at with me at the moment, but um, how it's woven into our stories, our words, our tapa cloth, and as well as our canoes. Thank you, Dr. Polito. And thank you, Captain Phil Fani. To all of the PyFest and Samoan Solutions students out there, right? Malo lava, faftai lava, mole, you know, for this lava noa so that we can, you know, share a little bit of our knowledge uh, but we will always be around as teachers, as folks in our community, as leaders. Uh, we'll be around here. Uh, you know, we'll be around to support you in whatever you need. If this is something of interest for you, all of you as you get older and as you uh, head on into the science and study our cultures uh, with new meaning and with much fervor and much excitement. So thank you so much, Fani. Malo lava. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for allowing me in the your space. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Let's get busy with Mataya Maker Monday Challenge. We know it's not Monday, but we'll make an exception. Any day's a good day for a challenge. Today, we're going to be engineers. Yeah, we're going to design and build to solve a problem. Before we get started, let's get comfortable. That's better. Okay, guys, make sure you guys have your aprons on because we're about to start our Tile Maker Monday Challenge. So first, you have your bin. Take out all of your materials and then get your bin, fill it up with water halfway. It's okay if you didn't receive your activity bin, because if you didn't, you could just grab a bowl or container, fill it up, and grab materials you have at home. All right, now we're gonna start the Matayo Maker Monday engineering process. Well, pow! <laughs> Number one, question. How can KP get across the ocean to see Matayo? Number two, rain. Think about ways he can get across the ocean. Number three, design. You could draw or think about what you want it to look like. Number four, paint. Use the materials you choose to build it. Number five, test. Test out what you created, put it in the water, and see how it floats. Don't forget to use the cup. Grab your cup, fill it up with water, put it on top of your creation to see how strong it is. You just keep repeating the process until you get it right. You don't always get it right the first time, but in engineering, mistakes are great because you learn from them. Okay, it's time for us to get building. Hmm, what are you going to use? Hmm, I'll use this and this. I'm going to use this and this.
Hey, there we go, there we go. Hey, we know that face. <laughs> Weren't you just on our video that we were watching? Oh, you superstar. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have you this week. Do you guys want to share a little bit about the organization and all that fun stuff? So my name is Falola Malele, and this is Cecilia Malele. And we are um, with PIFES, and it's an acronym for Pacific Islanders Encouraging Fun, Engineering, Science, and Technology. And so um, our mission is basically to increase Pacific Islander representation and um, improve access to STEM-related careers. So the way that we, one of the ways that we um, hope to do that is by providing fun and engaging activities for children and youth uh, K through 12. Um, so one way that we do that also is by um, hosting a monthly maker uh, challenge every month and we call it Mateo's Maker Monday. Um, and so every month uh, on the first Monday of each month, we post a new challenge. And so um, if you participate, um, you get a chance to win a STEM toy prize. And the only um, thing that you have to do to participate is take a picture of the creation that you made um, for the maker challenge and send or tag us in your photo. And so you can get more information about the challenges at wearepyfest.org. Um, and so today we're really excited to be able to share this challenge uh, with you and that um, we were able to have Dr. Palaita and Captain Thalofani join us and share their knowledge about uh, voyaging on canoes. And so um, really what we wanted uh, to share was how our Pacifica ancestors were able to use supplies they had around them to create and um, solve problems. So they create uh, different things like canoes to solve different problems, like uh, if they needed to cross, for example, if they needed to cross over the seas or travel to voyage, fish or trade, things like that. And so um, you in your bins should have received different supplies, like CC showing the little uh, styrofoam peanuts, there's pieces of uh, styrofoam plates, there's cardboard, I mean, there's um, little index cards that you can use, but there's just so many different supplies that you can use to create all different kinds of boats or floating vessels. Um, and the way that you wanna test them is with the little plastic cups that we provided. And so you can either uh, dip your cup in there and put it on top of your vessel to test, to help test it. And so what we wanted to really focus on was the um, maker or the uh, Matayo's engineering process. So you can post this poster up in your room or in your, wherever um, you have, <laughs> can see it. Um, and join us each month for the Baker Challenges. Um, and really it's just about um, following the process and knowing that you don't always get it right the first time, like Cece said, and that that's okay because you can, if something doesn't work, then you can figure out what you need to change or improve to make it better. And so that's the fun in all of, uh, of the engineering process is that, you know, you don't, you don't ever just give up. You, you basically use, you know, whatever problems come your way 
um, to find or create solutions for yourself. So we're excited to see that a lot of you guys have tried out the different materials and are testing them out, seeing what works for you. And, and we're here and excited to be a part of uh, some mm -hmm. solutions um, um, <laughs> series, workshop series. So thank you again, Banga and Epi and all the family at Simone Solutions. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Daniel, this is so awesome. Um, we did have a question. One of our um, participants asked, like, said, hey, there's no instructions on how to build this thing out. Like, do we just build it however we choose? Or is there a template? You want to share a little bit about that? So part of the the uh, engineering process is to brainstorm. So you want to think about what, what you feel would work, right? And then you get to decide um, what, what works for you. And so like, if you use your um, imagination and be creative um, in thinking of different ways that you can um, create a solution, we don't want to box you in to tell you how to do it or what to do, because we want you to, um, explore as many different ways to do it as possible. So, um, yeah, we there are different ideas that we, um, you know, can share, but uh, uh, we would love for everyone to kind of test out the different materials you have in your bin and, and really try and um, find different ways that work for you and creating, you know, a, a, a floating vessel that can hold the cup. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna share. Oh, um, if you did not have access to a maker supply kit, we have the link in the chat that also show that kind of shows this information. There's a PDF file that was shared to us by Ms. Lola um, that has the poster as well as some bio information about some of the um, two amazing people that joined us on that interview today. So it'll be a digital version of the objective for this maker, Matayo's Maker Monday Challenge. So just a really quick recap, PyTest has a Maker Monday Challenge and you can Find out what that challenge is by following them on their social media site. And then you complete the challenge, which is very similar to what we did today, which is Va'a challenge. And then you share your picture with them on social media. And that automatically will put an entry for you into their monthly raffle that allows you to win free STEM toys and materials, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, quick recap, there's no instructions on how to make these things. They um, have shared with us that nobody likes to be boxed in, right? So you go ahead and complete these challenges the best of, to the best of your ability. For anyone who's completed their challenge this week, you can go ahead and start um, and share your photos or videos of you working on your va'as with uh, PyFest on social media. Lola, you want to tell us your social media handle? Yes, so it is We Are PyFest um, at, at, yeah, well, that is our social media handle. It's just We Are PyFest. So W E A R E PyFest. P I E S E S T. We're also going to ask you guys in the chat. Salvo has already done that. And then at our announcement video today, also has some more information on how to get connected. I'm just going to share some of these vases that we have here in our studio today. This bad boy was made by Sekua and she floated. Oh, we have another entry from Miss Sekua. Sekua, did this one float? Yes or no? Where's the video on here? There it is. Aww. Foil base. This one is Miss Alicia's. Hers almost looks like a tank, but it floated. And hers also is one of the only ones that held uh, 
held up to the weight test. Oh, poor bit also. And then here's mine, which didn't do too well on the weight test. So I'm going to go back to the engineering board and try that again. All right. So we want to thank you guys again. Thank you, Ms. Cece, for joining us. Everybody who is on the virtual land, please go and follow them today. Follow and like and subscribe and all that good stuff so you can get connected and you can continue to foster your creativity through STEM, right? We need each and every one of you in these different STEM fields. So please follow them today. Next up on our agenda, we have Upo Olivayaso. We're going to welcome back Ms. Alicia. And both you can pull up our slide. Come on over, Ms. Alicia. Hey, guys. So I'm going to be reading my, I'm going to be reading, um, guys, the words of the week. And yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the, the thing, the calendar. Next slide, please. You guys got it in the calendar. So yeah. Yes. And today is April 24th. Yeah, 24th. Sorry, guys. <laughs> April 24th. So today's word is salty, which is to keep or to hold. Sunday's word is. Sorry. And then Sunday's word is Sorry guys. And then Monday's word is Fusu. And then what does that mean? Oh, to fish bite. Right. And then Tuesday's word is ta'ela, which is to shower, gaze, or fast. Wednesday's word is okay, which is to scold. And then Thursday's word is va'ai, which is to see, watch, or look at. And then Friday's word is. Let's say it again. Lisa, you got it? Fa'a, fa'a. Ta'i, 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 ta'i. And what does that mean? To practice. To practice. I, yeah. I wrong. I should have. So, friends, remember to use your words of the week all throughout the week till our next workshop. We want to encourage you. Like Miss Alicia, you thought she was having a little bit of difficulty this week, but that's okay because she is a new learner as well, just like all of our friends out there. So if you mess up, you can always try again. You can also ask the elders that may keep someone in your household to help you out, right? Or you can message us and we'll help you out. There's a cool thing called audio notes on Instagram. If you guys, if your parents or if anyone out there wants to message us, we can go over the words of the week again through audio notes. Next step, we want to invite Ms. Alion over. It's a pretty stuff. For our joke of the week and our quote of the week. Quote of the week. Hey, Ooh, hey y'all, it's a week. Back in the gym. Um, yep. Yeah. The Halloween, Halloween book. Oh, yes. We see it. Today's quote of the, uh, the, quote of the week is. Alonga tai u alonga uta. This is a Samoan proverb. It means when it is felt toward the sea, it is felt toward the land. Alonga tai u alonga uta. Beautiful. Look at this awesome coloring sheet. Don't forget to color it. Put it on the padlet so we can see your awesome art skills. Yeah, yeah, we want to see them. And then the joke of the week. What everybody's been looking for. Um, why is the tea so salty? I don't know why. Because the island never waves back. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and that's all folks for my session of this program. Thank you all. <laughs> How about that joke of the week? Whoa. Thank you, Aaliyah. So our announcements, we want to ask that you stick around for our announcement video. That's all of all we'll play a little bit right after I speak. Other than that, we want to welcome back anyone who is joining us for Falongo Samo, the production. Join us today. We're having our social distance rehearsal at Altaloma Park in South San Francisco. That's going to start at 3.30, I believe. Yeah, 3.30? Oh, 3 o'clock. Sorry, 3 o'clock is when it begins. And then our next workshop, we will see you back next week on May 1st. That's going to be again 1.30 to 2.30. Encourage you all to use your Ngana Samoa, Upol Vayaso, all your new words from the Word Bank, illustrate your legend, share your great, amazing work on the Padlet with us, tag We Are Pie Fest with your Va'a challenges, and make sure you connect with them so that you can be able to enter into these cool raffles. Oh, um, also we just want to share that there's no age restriction, right? For the Maker Monday challenges. Lola, that was a question, sorry. So the young and young at heart? Yeah? Okay, so K yes. Through so 12. K through 12. <laughs> oh, <laughs> young at Young at heart, you can do it for fun. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you so much for joining us again this week. We appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, another reminder of practice, your best day of the week. Utilize your amazing ukulele. Share your skills with us on TikTok or send us a video message of you practicing. And also, if you have any questions about the strumming for the best day, go ahead and message us because we can have Miss Sekua answer your questions starting off our next workshop. Okay, that's all that we have for today. So, Fasoy Pua, please stick around for the video that Vo's gonna play with our announcements of the week.